Hi, I'm back. Yes, 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 I'm back. And I am very offended right now. Yes, so you know me now. I'm musical me. And I'm not always offended. In fact, I'm very, very chill. In fact, if you've heard some of our past videos, you would have heard it mentioned that I am the most quiet person in the <laughs> in the studio. But today I am offended because I recently came across a video about a pastor. His name is um Pastor John Amantruku who lives in North Carolina, Wake County, who was currently, um, sorry, recently arrested. My people, why was he arrested? He was arrested for speaking out against, okay, this is the story. Uh, a 15 year old girl named Lorena Benson came to the school board meeting and where she um, highlighted how she was forced to, you know, you know what they do now, how they will give them or this sexual or this brainwashing it's brainwashing basically because why are we giving kids porn to read in a, in a school eh? and what happened to maths and english so basically this girl was giving soft porn to read against her will like she was supposed to explain it detail like a 15 years old girl like what are you I have to ask because I see so many of these things on YouTube, on TikTok, and I'm like, what is going on with America? Porn. Me at my age, I have places I cannot carry porn to, and you are not telling a 15 year old girl to read it. Why? So, like, the girl came and she was in tears in the school board meeting. She was in tears at how she felt violated and stuff like that. And then a few days later, Pastor Benson, I'm um, sorry. Pastor John staged a protest for her asking for justice against that because it's the, the logical thing to do. You cannot be telling. I mean, you guys want to have children. If you do not have one, how will you feel that your the, the, the children you are sending to school is coming home to tell you that the teachers told you to read porn out loud to your fellow students? Like, how? I mean, what happened to dignity and respect and shame? Yes, what happened to shame? Because there was a time there are some things you will not actually say out loud. I get there's freedom, we are all woke and all, but really guys, what are you, this is a 15 year old girl learning porn, learning about sex in such a brazen way. What's she going to do at the age of 25, 35, for like, eh? Anyway, the, that's never why, well, the, that is offensive. The one that now pissed me off eventually is that the person they went to go and arrest, it's not the teacher that they told that told the girl to go and read porno or the school board members that did not do anything about it. It is the pastor that did a state a peaceful protest on that. That is you came to his church and you arrested him. Like, pardon my insult, but what the hell? Like, I want to understand the logic with this. What what does that even mean? So everybody shut up, oh, if we're doing wrong things, shut up, oh. Let us brainwash the children. Let us teach them nonsense porn. Let us like what? What? What is that? The parents were offended. The parents are not even are, are upset that the, the man was. Who are you? Like honestly, this mentality that your child is not actually your child is the property of the state. And that, that, that is rubbish. Oh. That that is actually very very stupid. Because I don't want. To, ah God. When I said that I want to homeschool my children, people laugh at me. But if this mentality is going to come into Nigeria. We're going to have problems, so serious problems. Anyway, this man has been arrested, and we are still watching what is going down, what is going on about it. But don't worry, guys. I am going to keep you guys abreast. I'm going to keep you updated. Hopefully, they do something about this, and they don't keep it quiet. They don't kill it like they've done most of these things. But really, guys, let's let's pick up. It's it's not right when you see just one person saying something against the wrong and we are just watching and we're clapping from behind even the same thing with video there are so many freedom fighters and so one hmm i heard i saw a video where one setting expelled bbn whatever was saying she does not believe in bbn freedom fighters the reason why you can talk like this today is because of the freedom fighters that fought for this country but hmm, i rest my case let's do that one but guys let's speak up let's join we, we i'm not saying we should go out there and make noise but speak up don't just have the conversation in your room or in your with your friends. We're we're not a global village. We have phones. Bombard them. Send emails. Make noise. Let them know that people are waking. Don't leave these people alone to fight. Because guys, you might think it's not worrying you now, but one day you are going to be uh, parents or grandparents when you are old and you cannot do anything again and you are seeing what they are doing to your children. 
me i will not be like that too we fight to the end of this but until then i remain your wonderful host please let me know what you think and if you guys have more information about this please put it on the put it in the comments i want to see and like subscribe and share yes share for me don't you like my face don't you like seeing my face please share bye Said she was traumatized and they forced her to do it in school and the board did nothing about it. But instead, y'all put a preacher in handcuffs. No, but you put the preacher in handcuffs, but no one's doing anything to those people yeah. on the board. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I, listen, if you want me to leave, I'll leave. You want me to leave, I'll leave.